surprise everybody out there in YouTube land today. I hope it finds you well. It's time for another exciting episode of Heifer Haven's Fred Vice. Look at our heifer up here. Lord have mercy. Ain't she pretty today? Look at that grin on her face. She says, what are we going to talk about today, Brenda G? What are we going to talk about today? Well, Brenda G's about to tell you. Before I do, though, there's one thing that we've always got to do, and that's more cowbell! <laughs> Bring that thing to the cows come home. Hey, I tell you what, we got a letter here today that says, Dear Heifer Haven, I'm a young lady in my early 20s. Well, good for you, honey. <laughs> oh, okay, it goes on. She says, Fellas is always asking me for my phone number. A lot of them I don't want to give it to, but I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings either. What do you suggest that I do? Well, you got some choices here. One of them, you can just be straight up and say, look, I ain't giving you my phone number. It's just a bad day for you, sweetheart. And walk on. But you say you don't want to hurt their feelings. So, well, you could tell them that you don't have a phone, but in this day and age, that don't work. Back when I was a kid, there were some people that didn't have phones. So, you know, that would have worked. But what I used to do when I was probably about your age is I got the, we had phone books then, but you probably have to look them up online now. But I got the phone numbers for places like the police department and the morgue and the local hospital and, you know, just just random phone numbers like that of businesses. And you can look up things like phone number for the FBI. <laughs> There's all kinds of phone numbers you can look up. You just have to be creative with it. That's a good way to put your creative abilities to use. You memorize them phone numbers. And then when somebody asks you for your phone number, you don't want to give it to them. You can just give them one of them. There's a whole lot of fellers that used to call the police department in places when, <laughs> when they thought they was going to be calling me. So there you go. That's one way to get rid of them. I'm sure that there'll be some comments in the comments section. <laughs> I have some very creative people watching my show. And so I'm sure there's some creative ideas out there that I ain't come up with. Hey, I said it was free advice. I never said be good. <laughs> 